This week I have the book called Percival's Party, by, written by Jill Turner, illustrated by Peter Townsend. <laughs> Being a butterfly is great, said Percival. Once Percival had been a plain little caterpillar. Now he fluttered around the garden with his beautiful butterfly wings. I'll celebrate with a party, he decided. Invitations were sent out to all his friends, and everyone agreed to come. Percival wanted this to be the best party ever. The party day arrived. <clears throat> Carrying bright streamers, Lucy Ladybug and her Lady Bubs flew gracefully down into the garden. The Lady Bubs chattered and giggled. Everyone will help with the party today, promised Lucy. The ladybugs held each streamer near a leaf while Sydney Spider helped Percival tie them in position. First they put up the purple streamers, then the green ones. <clears throat> then as Dragonfly zipped into the garden, rainbows of balloons tied in bunches were wrapped around his tail. I like the red ones best, said Percival, tying a bunch to a flower stem. A pink tongue flicked out towards a balloon. Yellow reminds me of sunny days, said Lizzie, the lizard, carrying everyone's party hats on her head. Bella Bumblebee buzzed over from the honeysuckle vine. Daisy chains hung around her neck. Beneath her, she carried a petal cup filled to the brim with yellow liquid. Honeysuckle nectar for everyone, she said. We'll all have a lovely time. Percival grew more and more excited as party time came closer. A, l a line of ants marched past the roses. Hop, two, three, four, bellowed Andy Ant. At the head of the line, Andy and some friends carried a cake covered in soft pink icing. Behind them came a procession of food of every description. We're heading back to the picnic ground, said Andy. There's more food to come. Percival looked around. Streamers were draped from leaf to leaf. Balloons bobbed in the breeze. Gradually, the sky darkened and the moon peeped down into the garden. The fireflies turned on their lights. Percival's friends arrived. The party started. Frederick Frog and his orchestra settled themselves in a corner and croaked the latest songs. Thank you all for coming, said Percival. Three cheers for Percival, cried Sydney Spider, the best butterfly we know. Everyone clapped and sang, then danced in the moonlight till late. Lucy Ladybug gathered her sleepy ladybugs to take them home. That was the best party ever, she told Percival. I couldn't have done it without my friends, said Percival. The end. And again, that was Percival's party.